really care what these people say about us. I'm going to talk all I want to talk. It's not your shit. It's not their shit. They say show. whatever they want to. I really don't care what I agree. Talk. I'm Larry. And I'm Joe Bump. That's, That's news to us. In today's Today, top story, we have cyborgs at work. Not bad. Why are you so mad? Not bad. Oh, the tide turned now. He's a little perturbed. I see. It's just, it turns. Cyborgs at work. <laughs> Employees getting implanted with microchips. Now, this kind of freaks me out a little bit, to be 100% honest with you. In Stockholm, a company called Epicenter um, implants their employees with a microchip. It right. goes between their index, their pointer finger, and their thumb. It gets put right in there. It's the size of a grain of rice, and they use it to get inside the building to scan. You know, because oh. certain doors are locked. So instead of using a card or a key, you use your I hand. They don't use fingerprints, so. though. I don't know. They it's probably cheaper to do this. What? So to plant something inside you? Yeah, just you use a little syringe. 2017. In case you didn't know. So you put a little piece of rice in there. It's not really rice, but it's the size of rice. And then you can even buy, they say you can buy a smoothie. So they have like a, rash, like a, a cafe down there. And you just scan your card. It's kind of like Disney World with the Magic Bands. This is like movie stuff. This is like Revelation stuff, to be honest with you. Dude. This, the, the mark of the beast. And it freaks me out. It's the end of the world? 666. It's coming. Um, no, it is kind of... That's kinda it's weird. Though. I wouldn't let somebody um, microchip me. Mm-mm. Because then you know like, what kind of data they get. Like then you know when you go, how many times you go to the bathroom every day, how many times you, you're not actually working, which is a lot for some people, including yourself. Um, you know, so there's a lot of things that happen. So when you have your key card, you're like, oh, well, Larry used my key card. It wasn't me leaving at three o'clock in the afternoon so I can go film with my buddy a YouTube video. So no. like, so like people kill somebody, chop their hand off, and just use their hand to, to do that. Well, stuff. I think it's a little ridiculous, but. You know, Same. there's no separation between what's inside of your body and what's not. So, I mean, that's it's, it's inside of you. I, I just don't feel comfortable doing it, but it's a big thing. It's so big that you actually have parties for any individual employee that would agree to do it. They don't make it mandatory. I don't think that legally they could, probably. Right. But and if somebody does get the microchip, they actually have a party for them. Because they want more people to do it. And if you don't? Then you don't get a party. You're out. You're fired. You just don't get a party. Probably, probably fire your ass eventually, though. You're fired. Yeah, you're out. You're fired. Or and now, that, now because it's on a Schwarzenegger doing it, you're terminated. Right. And I'll be back. He does say that. <laughs> Go to the chopper. Yeah, that's actually what he says. But no, seriously, that's kind of freaky. I don't like it. That's kind of freaky. Anyway, there was a dramatic rescue from the New York subway train caught on video. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Um, Larry Uncleson was waiting for a train Saturday night when another man fell onto the New York sub tracks, the subway tracks, right? The cell phone video shows him jumping down, lifting the man up, and heaving him onto the platform only moments before a train pulled in. That's crazy. I had an experience with that That's once. That's been happening a lot lately. Uh, the victim suffered minor injuries. It was soon discovered that the man suffers from a rare condition called I fall all the time itis. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds familiar. That's it. That's it. And no, I'm just kidding. I thought the end of the show, guys. We're just kidding with you. Um, this weekend, the big thing happened in WrestleMania. Do you know about WrestleMania? WWE? No, I'm not really I'm not really a wrestling dude. Are you never watched it even back in the day? With like Jimmy Superfly Slipper? Uh, yeah, actually I Macho watched Man, Oh the Hulk, Hulk oh, um, and back when uh, Andre the Giant stuff like Andre that. Andre the Giant, like, yeah. Like that kind of stuff like Ow. that. Yeah. Put you to sleep or hold, stuff like I that. I will yeah. give you the million dollar dream. I Just said it before, I'll give it to you right I'll now. I'll put you to sleep, baby. Put Paul Marks. I tried to get Paul Marks the million dollar dream. He's work. a big dude. He is. It didn't, well, it wasn't scripted that way. <laughs> but anyway, John Cena, who's a pretty popular wrestler. I know who he is, so. Oh. I do. Oh, no, well, I do. Now he's the expert. Good. Why don't you tell no, us? No, I'm just saying. No, I'm just saying. Good. I'm just. So anyway, John Cena. Cena. No, I have his name right. It's Cena, <laughs> not Cena. I've seen a, I've seen a John Cena. Anyway, are you done interrupting me? Can I tell my story? I'm sorry. Go, go ahead. You sure? I'm going to just drink my beer. It's a first. Um, John Cena proposes to Nikki Bella during WrestleMania. I don't know who that is. She's a female wrestler. Uh, before the match, married members of WrestleMania mocked John Cena for not yet getting engaged. Shelly, I really don't understand what the hell is going on with wrestling, to be honest with you. Why are you even talking about that during wrestling? I mean, this is not... Back in my day... When you tell that, like, Elizabeth was the only female in wrestling. Not that I don't mind females being in wrestling, but who cares about being married? I think it's a nice stuff. I think it's this is all real, unlike uh, the Santa Claus. 
Um, <laughs> so I know you're thinking, you know, uh, uncomplex declarations of affections. That's not what wrestling is all about. But this is kind of nice. So John Cena actually had a, had, had an interview afterwards, and he said that. Um, uh, uh, Nikki Bella has a whole bunch of surgery. When you're a wrestler, you have surgeries all the time. Mm-hmm. There's that moment right before you go into surgery that you already get the juice. And there's that moment of like 10 minutes where you can pretty much ask whatever you want. Okay. And they're going to tell the truth because they're all doped up. Right. And John Cena asked if I were to, you know, ask you Mary, would you say yes? And she said yes. Then he didn't ask her, but he, you know, she didn't remember it either. Um, and then on the stage, in the ring, he got down on one knee and proposed, and she said yes. So they are getting married. Okay. It's a mad maid. In WrestleMania. Well, uh, can I talk now? Can you not okay. touch me anymore? That's fine. <laughs> John John Cena, though, he's supposed to be like one of the really good guys, right? Like, yeah, he's, he's one a, he's of the a main really dudes. good guy. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. He's like that's, Hulk Hogan. In that's why I said I, I heard of him before because. Oh, he's a pretty big. He's acting in a lot of action movies. Um, he's like the equivalent. I don't know what he's the equivalent of now, to be honest with you. Because I'm not as well versed in. WWE, but I'm sure there's plenty of comments to let you know where he's comparable. Right. But I think he's up there with like Andre the Giants and the Hulk Hogan's and the big okay. Macho Man's, right. the big characters that were in. Right, um, gotcha. You know, like 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 back in the day with like Jimmy Superfly Snooker, he was he was well known, but and like Coco Beware, Junkyard Dog, they were all wrestlers when I was growing up, and they weren't the main guys, but they were popular guys, like right. Big Boss Man, all right. of those, um, Hulk Hogan, Macho Man. Uh, Ultimate Warrior, Andre Giant, they're the main staples. I mean, he's one of those right. main yeah, staples. He always has a good thing to say. Like, yeah, yeah, John like, Cena, I, yeah. I saw him on a uh, talk show. And matter of fact, he was sitting down at the table, and he, like, dwarfed the people he was sitting <laughs> down next to. So he was just immense. Kind of like... Speaking you know, of immense, dude, Larry's got something to tell you guys. It's time. It is time. It's time for... for top Ten. And we have special guests doing it once again, guys. Yes. Back popular demand. Two drunk guys. Two drunk guys. Not us. So what are we doing? Drinking. I think we're doing um <sighs> top ten. Oh. Top ten foods. Food. Wait, what kind of list is top 10 foods? Foods? No, foods that I want to eat. Like, I want food now. I'm hungry. I think it should I'm, be. Wait, uh, let's, uh, let's revise the list. Top 10 foods. Well, let's revise the list. Top 10 foods to drink. Nope. To eat. <laughs> <laughs> I'll drink to that. <laughs> Top tip foods uh, eat after drinking. Me. So let's do top tip foods eat. This list is crap. The food. Hold it. I had to hold it. Top ten foods that you eat because you came home intoxicated. And the bitch then she put the she put the food away and she didn't make you dinner tonight because she's pissed because you don't have no you don't have no food after and you that, drinking all night. You you. you so we're starting our own list, because this is that list is crap. Yeah. Top 10 foods that after drinking. After drinking. As you come home from a night out with the fellas. Because she's mad at you. Maybe you're single. And she put all the food away, because she's like, you, you. that's the last time you come home. Maybe you're single. All right, let's come like up with that. a list. Let's come up with a list. All right. All right. All right. So what's your, what's your first one? Let me see. I can't. We're starting our own um, list. Um, I can go for a banana. I go for banana right now because it's, it's like. <clears throat> you see a banana? Banana. You don't, you don't like banana? Is our top 10 foods to lose weight? Is top it's, 10 foods to drink when you come over drunk? Is, they're healthy. I don't care about healthy. They're yellow. They are yellow. They're, Sometimes they're green. They're delicious. I don't think bananas are delicious. And they're full of. They're full of potassium. Why do you think? Why? Why? Why are bananas in your brain? Potassium. Potassium. I'll tell you what's not in your brain. It's potassium. Potassium is. It might be bananas. It's. <laughs> yo, yo, that hurt. It hurt me, man. You know what else hurts? Cut me deep. Um, as Tyrone. Tyrone. Tie your own shoes. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, uh, um. So. So. 
Bananas. But how, how do you open a banana? Mm. Like sometimes, do you ever get like a, 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 a one that's not, I don't like my bananas brown and like. No, all, I don't like it brown either. Like all like mushy and Gooey. stuff No, like but the that. problem is sometimes you get overripe and you can't open it without squishing it. I like them a little underripe. You would. Like a little green on them, but not a lot of green. Just, just like in real bit. life. But it's like, did you ever try to open a banana? And it's like, you can't, you can't. You can't open it. No, you gotta use your thumb and get the nail in there a little bit. Just get a little crease. But suppose you don't have no nails because you. Mine are short. I don't have any nails. They're just short. I don't bite my nails. You, you bite your nails? No, but you. They're, Do you bite your nails? Not at all. But you, yours are long. They, they're not long. You should cut them or paint them. They're, I have more finger than nails. I don't know. My finger comes above my nails. I don't know about that. But what I'm I wouldn't use long. What I'm saying is that. That was a long. Okay. <laughs> You nailed it. Oh, you did. <laughs> oh, oh, uh, but did you know? It's a, this a fact. It's a fact. If you turn the banana over, upside down, upside down, and you peel it that way, it peels easy because that's how the monkeys do it. They're smarter than us. See. That's why the Planet of the Apes is going to take over. You know what's funny about my monkeys? Hey, gorillas, I just... <laughs> I just read? <laughs> what would that be? Birth control actually works on monkeys and apes. How would you... Yo, you got something to tell me? <laughs> no, how, you how, would, how would you know? What do you mean, how would I know? You mean like uh, rubber? No. It works on monkeys. <laughs> like birth control, like birth control pills. Oh, like no. Medication. I mean, I don't know what kind of size rubbers you're using. But, what is it? Whoa. What? Like the finger rubber. No, I eat the ones that come you know, with the whole body. I <laughs> can't. <laughs> that way you really extra <laughs> Well, if you're having some of the monkeys, oh, you probably should be doing that. Oh, man. So, so oh, we're doing a list. Yeah, where are you at? Top 10 foods talking about monkeys. We really got distracted there. Let's see. We got to focus. Okay, yeah. You ready? Focus. <laughs> are you ready? You, you set? You set? Okay. <laughs> Cheese and crackers. Cheese and crackers. Typically, you have cheese oh. and crackers. I love some cheese and crackers. You come home, yo. It's in the fridge. You cut up a little cheese I, with those crackers. You know what? I got some crackers and cheese. Like it's in the middle. It's like you got the cracker and like some the sandwich. Cheese. It's even yeah. easier. You don't even have it's to cut it. You don't got it. Yeah, you don't have to cut it at all. You just eat it. Cheese and crackers. Just eat it. Crackers Michael and Jackson. He he made a song about that. Just eat it. No, nah, it was weird. I it's just eat it. It was you weird. I ain't gonna. Oh, his is beat it, which you should know a lot about. <laughs> but the banana. <laughs> What's oh. the? <laughs> I can't. <coughs> What's next? Man? I got a drinking problem. <laughs> the um, problem is, I'm not drinking oh. enough. You know what I like more than anything is is goldfish. You have goldfish? You know? No, you can't eat fish, dude. I mean, no. their goldfish are pets. It's a cracker, but it's got the cheese oh, the already goldfish. mixed in the cracker. So you don't even have any you you cheese and crackers. Do, you just eat them. The problem with the cheese crackers or the, the goldfish is they're just too small. They're tiny. They're like, why don't they make goldfish? You should be pretty familiar. How come? Yeah, the last time we was in the bathroom, I looked over at you as you were calling. Oh, like, well, first of all, why are you looking over me in the bathroom? Could you? And I'm a, <laughs> And to be honest with you guys, I'm a grower, not a shower. <laughs> but the, 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 see, the, the, yeah, well, how don't they make a goldfish like like this? So it's like you know a mouthful. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> But the the title you gotta take like forty of them. Yeah, I, I was gonna say twenty. 
joke. <laughs> I'm twice your size. You're going go for 40. I'm twice your size. 40. You're an asshole. <laughs> oh my god, dude. You just sprayed me so bad. I have beer all over. I can't even stay in character. I have beer all over my face. I have so much beer on me. <laughs> I'm now. I can't believe it. So, I, I think that we can continue. Who's next? Pretzels. Oh, pretzels. This is the German version of gold. Pretzels and beer go perfect together. They, they, I can't figure out what my life is. <laughs> Pretzels. Hey, I go for pretzels and pretzels and beer. I want I, the pretzels are good. Pretzels it, and beer are good. But the, <laughs> who spit up? <laughs> what's what's next on the list? I can't see. Wait. <laughs> you know, Lock it down. I'm sorry. Alright. It's just calm down. Uh, it's just it's alcohol right. talking. It's alcohol yeah. talking. Yeah. <laughs> Is that better yeah. now? Yeah, I'm, I'm good. You, you good? Let me check. I feel good. I feel, okay. good. I feel okay. locked in. Alright. All right. Um, chips. Because they go into pretzels. pretzels and chips. Pretzels and chips. I kind of like chips better than pretzels. Yo, why yeah. is there hair in my, my face? <laughs> but did you ever have like. Mm. When you're eating pretzels and you eat some chips, it's got it, they, they 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 taste really good. And, and you know what's funny about it? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was thinking. It's hilarious. Is right? that it makes the chips taste different? Mm -hmm. And the pretzels. Mm. Get the that, pretzels by themselves taste what, different. That's can they make a pretzel chip or a chip pretzel? Shh. Don't tell nobody. Don't, say, don't say nothing to anybody about this. We gotta cut this out. Gotta cut it out, cause uh, we, we can't. No, we gotta cut this it's out. our idea. Yeah, the, the, Prince of chips are us. I said it. It's, it's documented. I said it. But they cut it out. It's not documented. Oh, uh, it's documented. We leave said it on. It. Leave we it on. We said it. We said it. I said, but you know it goes great. What did you say? I thought I said it. We both said it. We're a team. We said we're a team. It. We said so. It. Speaking of chips, it makes me think of a sandwich. Nice, oh. a nice lunch meat sandwich. A nice lunch meat sandwich on some white bread or even rye bread. Just with some, just oh. like, right. Nice turkey, ham, some cold cuts. Good cold oh. cuts. Oh. Some cheese, some uh. chips on the side, and then you burn you know, afterwards. You know that that's the perfect. But, but you know, you know what? It, it was a sandwich that you sandwich had. Sandwich is good, but you know yeah, what? You no, no, you need a sandwich, you gotta, chips. You gotta have a pickle. Is that a separate snack on its own? Nobody had a pickle without a sandwich? Um, How about we do this? How about we do a combo? Pickle combo. A sandwich combo. Sandwich pickle. Yeah, whatever. Sandwich pickle. A sickle. sandwich pickle. We'll call it a sickle. A, now, it should be more sandwich than pickle. It's a, a shickle. A sand pickle. A sham. A sand nickel. A, it's a sand nickel. Pick sand. Sand nickel. Sand, sand. I like sand nickel. Yeah, I guess you do. Um, What's that supposed to be? Um, I can, uh, I can go for some cookies. You need to have a nice balance. You have to you have salty, have, and you have to have sweet. Sweet, and and you. And you brought up bananas, but the cookies are way better than bananas. Thank you for being cookies, normal. Cookies are delicious. I love some effing yeah. cookies. Mm -hmm. I don't like effing cookies. I like eating cookies. Let's be clear here. I said clear. Let's be clear here. Yeah. Um, I like sandwiches and pickles. I like sandwiches and pickles and cookies. And cookies. And cookies. Um, but you know what it's good is when you come home and there's some leftovers in there and there's some fried chicken, some cold. Oh, fried chicken. Fried Kentucky? Chicken. Any kind of fried chicken, dude. Fri What's your favorite part of fried of the chicken? Is it? My, the favorite, uh, my favorite part of chicken is the thighs. Is it? You look like a thigh man. I'm a thigh guy. You know, Why would you say thigh guy? You're a thigh guy. It rhymes. But the easy is definitely the leg. But you know what? My favorite. Let me guess. I just got to chose the breast. How'd you know? Because you like them big. 
I like the, I like I like the, big I'm, old a, breast. I'm a breast guy. The, like two hands full. I like the big breast, and you just because it, it's, it's <laughs> just eat it, just get in there. <laughs> 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 Motorboat, son of a bitch, you. <laughs> and, <laughs> and then, oh, this is this is one of my my favorites ever. I, I love this. It's it's like. And you know it goes great with beer, because every bar you go to, they got it. You gotta have pizza. I love your say wings. And it's like you don't have. You can put something on a pizza. You on can put pizza. whatever you want. Pizza what? Everybody puts everything on a pizza. What the f-, f is beverage thing? They put they put like mushrooms and the celery and the, and the and the carrots and the I've never and had the, carrots on my and pizza. the pineapples and I've the, had pineapple and pineapple and bacon and the watermelons. I've and never had watermelons. They put all that stuff on the pizzas. Pizza's just, great. Just give me plain pizza. Coming home, pizza. you coming home, and you're feeling a little buzzed I'm, up. I'm getting and you hungry. Go in the fridge, and you grab a little bit of pi- bit oh. of pizza. That is. That is absolutely. I love pizza. Delicious. I love pizza. Delicious. But that's not the top of the list. You know, to be 100% honest with you, pizza's the best list. I don't know how it's not top. But guys, you can't forget when you come home, you need more beer, right? I guess technically you're not eating it, so it's not a food. But it's got yeast, it's got hops, it's got grains. So technically, it's like bread. So you're eating it, but you're drinking it at the same time. But it's always important to... Whoa. Holy. Oh, I got some food. Yeah, you do. Mm. Fried chicken. Mm. I think you could get out of food here. Pizza good? Pizza good. What else you got here? You, got, you want to make a sandwich? Yeah, I think so. This, this is the way, you know, when you Gee, come home. man, would you get hungry? We talked about all this food. I'm very pissed that we made the refrigerator. And I got really, really hungry. Oh, you know it's great on a sandwich? Mm. Watch me. <laughs> well, well, yeah, and the cheese. I don't have no slices. What is that? I've got some. You can't eat shredded cheese. Yeah, you. Yeah. Ooh, 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 ooh. that's the cheese. I need a little bit of pickle. Oh, yeah. I think you cut the cheese. You cut the cheese. You, you cut the it. cheese. And with the, with a sandwich, you need a little bit of you need a little bit oh, of crunch. I like a little crunch. No, you got it. I think I think you gotta. You gotta put. Mm. Look, gold chip, goldfish gold. on it on that. Oh, I need to squeeze it down. Now that's a good. You like the crust? Oh, that looks good. Mm-hmm. That's the top ten. The ten foods that we like is all right here. You guys want to come over? With- I am going to. Mm. You guys can come over. We got some more. Mm. More cookie? Mmm, cookie? Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Pizza or cookie? Sandwich fell apart. Enjoy that side. We have some love. Oh, don't mind us. Mm. Mm. Let's just take it with us. Mm. Let's good. Let's just take it with us. Mm. Okay, let's get mm. out of here. Mm. Yeah. Let's get out of here before I come back. Hold on, I grab stuff. Yeah. Let's grab it. These guys, they're going to take all our food. We just took all their food. Oh, no. <laughs> Are you ready with me? You got, you got the pickle? Yeah.
I, I really can't argue with that list. That was pretty spot on. Other than that, it was. I, I can go understand. for some of that food right now, and it's like, where'd it go? It's gone. It was here. It's a little come here for you. for that. Oh, I don't want that. Where'd they go? They just they took leave? it. They took the food and left. They left? Guys! Probably pass out in the other room or something. I don't know. Well, hopefully the food's still, because I'm starving. To be a lot of food, I though. didn't eat dinner. I don't know why they had bananas on the list. That seems kind of weird to me. Yeah. Yeah. Well, anyway, guys, speaking of WWE WrestleMania, another story. Oh, another right? story. Uh -oh. Now, this is pretty big because this is tying my WrestleMania, my wrestling WWF time into WWE. Okay. The Undertaker has retired. Okay. I the Undertaker has been around since 1991. He is his first match. He actually uh, beat Hulk Hogan, which is something that you can actually see you, uh, okay. to win the title. Over the, his first time winning the title was against Hulk Hogan. Oh, he's been he's he's been a staple in WrestleMania or in in uh, WWE wrestling for thirty years, thirty plus years. Obviously, that's not right. What's 20, 25 years? Okay. Anyway, I have Athletic so so song, he song. he lost his last match in WrestleMania, mm -hmm. um, and he uh, decided to hang up his boots. I guess they say because they wear boots. Um, it's one of the old school wrestlers that are gone now, and it's a shame that he's going to be gone. But he's been doing it for a long time. I have his stats here. Okay. All right. Interesting stats. WrestleMania record, twenty-three and two. So he's been in twenty-five WrestleManias. That's a lot. Okay. That's a lot, right? Oh yeah. Every year. So yeah. twenty-five years. Twenty-five. Hell and Cell appearances, fourteen. Held in what? Hell and Cell. We get jail cell and hell. Oh. Elimination chamber appearances, six. Casket match appearances. This is he's the Undertaker. Get it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 16. World Championships, 7. He's won 7 World Championships. Wow. Slammy Worlds, 12. Um, in an interview with Anthony Sola Heffinger, um, talking about The Undertaker, whether, whether it was 20 years ago or today, when The Undertaker comes in the ring and the gong hits and the music plays and the energy in the arena, it's not like that for anybody else. I don't care if it's John Cena, Shawn Michaels, whoever. It's a different kind of energy, and he's got more respect from the fans and fellow wrestlers than I think any character or superstar has ever had in our business. Now, I don't necessarily... I don't know. It's hard to say that anybody ever, but definitely anybody that's acted now. Um, he's old school. Old school's leaving WWE. It's bound to happen. I think he's... One of the last ones of that era okay. that are gone now, so it's a pretty big deal. Yeah, I, I Undertaker, I appreciate all the entertainment that you've given me and all our fans, and I wish you all the best in retirement. You know who's a big wrestling fan? Yeah, Pickle Boy. He was he was he was at WrestleMania. Yeah, big big wrestling fan. I see his tweets all the time and everything. That's that's kind of cool. Um, Joe, did you watch this video? I, no. Okay, this video. <laughs> you don't know what video no, I'm talking no about. Idea. It's called "You Looking at Me" by Viral Hog. Right? You looking at me? You looking at me? You looking at me? Yo, you looking at me? Yo, you looking at me? Yo, you looking at me? You looking at me? Anyway, this video shows a vehicle following a kangaroo who just stops and turns around, almost like he's like he's saying to him, "Yo, bro, you follow me?" Dude, kangaroos. Yeah, I think we've been down this road before. So let's watch this video real quick. Go down the road. They're scary, dude. I always thought kangaroos were friendly and nice until our, until this show. All of our topics we've had. <laughs> what is really weird about them is they they posture. They're jacked they, up. They, they're yeah, like they, they do this. They, 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 yeah, they, yeah, yeah. You got something to say? And the thing is with him, and he does this. Yeah, the thing is with him, he's like, it's almost like, yo, you follow me? I'm about to mess you up. Uh, it's not if you're following me. It's if you're effing with me. There's a yeah, whole other word yeah. that you can say. I wouldn't mess with a kangaroo. They seem to be pretty badass, and they have tails and, and claws, and and, and, and towards big the feet, they're like that. Yeah, and towards the end, when he was over on the side, it looked like he had a cigarette hanging out of his mouth, like Thug Life. Thug Life. Yeah, he's like. He did. He had a piece of straw hanging out of his mouth. All he was missing was the hat. Yeah, and then he was like, "Yo, peace, 
Yeah, I'll bust your car. Yeah, I, I, what are you gonna do? I'll hurt you bad. But people want to show you though, they're not scared of kangaroos because in ca in, in, in I'll show you anything can kill you. Oh yeah. I mean, oh, yeah, the rainbow. Of... Rainbows are dangerous in Australia. Are they? Yeah, they they're catch you on fire. They're poisonous. Poisonous right. rainbows. But uh, before you start, your next story. I just got one one little story. Oh, you know, real quick. Ooh, pretty, pretty exciting. Yeah, it's, it's, you know, there was a big premiere that just happened and everything. It just came out and everything. It was um, the Psycho series. The um, It was called Psycho Family. Of oh, documentary. Documentary, yeah. documentary, yeah. It was real? It was, it was awesome. And it came out, and I absolutely loved it. I'll be honest with you. Um, there wasn't enough Joe Bump in it is my only criticism. Yeah, I'm a little, you know, of course we're going to be biased too. A little it bit was good. I, you know, I, like I said, I'm a fan. Yeah. Okay, so um, even though I'm involved, I wasn't very involved with the Cellular Series. I had, a, you know, I think I did two videos and I did one with my kids. Mm -hmm. um, but, uh, you know, I was a fan going into it before that even, you know, so I appreciate um, the documentary. I remember seeing the preview when we were doing the Ursula Series. Um, the preview that he released later. Oh, that yeah. was the, the, and, yeah. and I remember getting all anthem about then, and that was in October. Yeah. And we were supposed to see it a month after that, and we didn't. And you didn't get to go to the premiere. No, you I really had to work. Really I really to. wanted to be there yeah. to see. I like to meet some fans, and and it was an awesome time. And like, I I really wish that you could have been there because you would have been like blown away. I I, I believe it, it, but I honestly think that all of you guys deserved um, everything that you got. The, the, the all the fan interaction, all the praise. I mean, you guys really invested a lot in that it, series. It was amazing. It, the whole thing was amazing. But Jesse, this was all Jesse. Oh, uh, without yeah, this is Je yeah, Jesse. And I mean, Jesse, Jesse, the whole story that he he had contrived up and everything was just absolutely amazing. It's interesting hearing him talk. Like, like I really enjoyed the question and answer after on Facebook Live. I watched that, um, and it was really cool. Like hearing him answer the questions that a lot of us have. Right. It's fun watching fans ask questions because they're the kind of questions you're going to have. And hey, at one point, he had said that. You know, it started off with a, with a, a, a you know crazy video because that's what was trending, right. and then eventually he decided to tell a story. So he, he got the end point where he was killing his father. So he just had to fill and then, all and that fill in. the rest of it in. Yeah, and it's amazing to hear his process, even with the behind the scenes. Which if you guys aren't watching it, you need, you need to, to go back it. and watch it because you're yeah. missing out on a lot yeah. of really great. And I'll tell you what, if you watch the if you watch that doc, I think it would kind of like Get, make you, you want to watch, right. watch the whole. I kind of wish that I would have watched that first, then the behind the scenes. So you yeah. guys are all in a really good spot. Go watch behind the scenes. He gives you so much information on how to become, yeah, or, or, or how his brain works because he's right. People like Jesse who have that creative, um, I mean, yeah, I have it too to an extent. You have it too to an extent, but not like him. Right. Like his brain works differently than everybody else. And working with him in the Ursa series or the Christmas series, you, you see it at work. He's a really exciting director to work for. Um, and watching the behind the scenes, you see him directing, and you see his. Like, he's a great actor and he's a great writer. But his he's really good at getting people to do the best they can do. Right. He gets the best out of people. Yeah. Um, so and, I I would just you know, and Brian Spitz. Oh, oh he. No, dude. It's like this. I'm dropping a mic. Okay. Breaking a pencil. It seemed hard to break it first. I decided not to because Brian Spitz the, uh, did an awesome job. He did. Everybody did. Everybody involved in that. I was very impressed with it. Um, even even the because um, I watched it on you know the, I, I don't know how you guys did it in New York was it all one shot and yes. then they had the breaks in there at all that was all one shot so each chapter they have a little introduction even the music they play in the chapters I, I like so everything about it was fantastic and I'm super excited for everybody involved because you guys all deserve it my wife watched it and she was like she liked the way that the chapters went because it That's, was kind of like the Hateful Eight if you yeah, watch that movie yeah yeah exactly right. like that so and it, it broke it up perfectly they did a really good job yeah. Um, so this is pretty exciting. Okay. Uh, it's not really exciting. No. The dictionary uh, just released the new Webster Dictionary. It's got 300 new words. 300? 300 new words. So some of them are pretty cool. They go anywhere from current political climate to Beyonce, which I think is ridiculous because I think she's a waste. Hold it. She's in... She's a new word? Beyonce? No. She is not, um, but the word slay from the song um oh the slay s-l-a-y yeah that was already a word nah it's different now it, it's strongly to impress or overwhelm somebody to slay them oh so there's another definition there's, yeah, of that. So they, they added another one to slay okay. they, they didn't add that word to it. i'm just saying that it has okay. something to do with it. um also alt-right is a new word to add to the dictionary and that's all political okay okay um there are also some other words uh like uh, everyday like text language including hangry hang what the hell's that what do you think it is hangry 
I have no idea. I mean, seriously? What word does it sound like? There's two words it sounds like here. Sounds like angry. And? Happy. Hungry. Hungry? Hangry. Hangry? You're hungry and angry. This is a good one for you, bitch face. Wait, ready? Oh, no, no, I've already known that. That's definition right there. And struggle bus. I don't understand struggle bus. Struggle bus? bus? I have no idea what that is. Um, Black Lives Matter also earns their entry. Um, clicktivism, and which I think is in, interesting, which has to do with YouTube and, and Twitter and things of that nature. But my favorite, and we can take full credit for this, folks. What's that? You heard it here first. Welp. Welp has been added to this year because of that's news to us. We say at the end of each show. And that's they added awesome. dictionary. Yeah, because of it. that's a, well means. I've been using that well. word for forever. Well, introduction well. means well, and they use it in a sentence. Well, I hope tomorrow's a better day. Well, it's pretty interesting, right? There goes I my lost pencil. My, I lost my pencil. Um, do you know, in a study of two hundred thousand ostriches over a period of eighty years, not one reported a single case of an ostrich burying its head in the sand. Well, oh, they don't do that. No. Well, that's news to us.